Hello there YouTube, this is also going to be a video on the Sony TX1 camera and it has a 3 inch touchscreen, 10.1 megapixels with, uh, yes, 10.2 megapixels, I'm sorry, with XMR R technology and this is one of the first cameras in the world to incorporate XMR and uh, it has a very spacious touchscreen and um, if you click on the easy auto mode, which I have it on right now because I don't feel like uh, changing any of my settings, you see there's sleep panorama, there's movie mode, program auto, anti-motion, handheld, and scene selection. One of the things I'd like to show about this camera today is uh, it's a very spacious touchscreen and the ability to move things around easily. Because this camera has uh, some very amazing photo, I mean, uh, not photos, features that people would use every day. Like, uh, there's touch to focus. Well, I just I move it up here. Touch to focus. Yeah, if it'll do it, yes. You see a little, little square popped up there, and over here, there's a little thumb and a X. And uh, let me set the thing down. And that's how, that's, like, if you have a focus point that you want it to focus on, then you touch that. And if you want to get rid of it, you just hit that. And a pretty cool thing about here is that you can change what's on your menu over here. Right now I have high speed, um, macro, I have flash, and scene adjustment. And then there's a menu button at the top so that you can adjust all of that. There's a nice little play button down here, which I don't have any photos on this right now. Um, let's see, what's another great thing to talk about? Look at the front of the camera, it slides down and up, which is a, a, a very great thing to have sometimes, you know, if you like a stylish, more looking, more, more stylish looking cameras. This is a very nice feature and it's also protects your lens very easily. Now, uh, I talked about a little bit of the pros, but let's also talk about some of the uh, cons. A con here is that it does not have stereo mic, it only has mono, which is a, which was a disappointment. Only it only has four optical zoom and you and also when you put it on digital you get eight. Another downside of this camera was its battery life. Um, it's only got about a two hour battery, which for me is pretty pretty a pretty sad battery. But I guess I could compromise for how thin and small the camera is. Another thing that Sony does, which I don't really like, is that it has a um. Get this thing out of here. It takes a special SD. Uh, it's uh, called what's it called? It's called a Pro SD, which most uh, computers don't like hold. Like you know, if you have your laptop and it has an SD slot, most uh, SD slots don't hold Pro, so you have to buy a memory card adapter like I did. Or if you have it built into like your desktop, then you can do that. Um, let's talk more about the con. I mean, the pros now. <laughs> when you're uh, taking a photo, you can. Uh, Put it on a thing called high speed mode. Well, let me put it on that right now. If I just hold down the shutter, it just took 10 pictures a second. 10 photos per second, but the thing about this is that it has to record. So it's not just like 10 pictures a second and save. It takes time, you know, which isn't that bad. But that was 10 pictures, so think about if you're uh, surfing out there, your friend is, and you get 10 photos of him like falling into the wake, you know, that's, that's pretty nice. Uh, let's take that off now. Um, another thing that I could like to show you is uh, how good this picture, how good this camera is without a flash. Well, I mean, I can't really show you this right now because I'm sorry, I don't have a tripod to hold this camera on, and uh, you won't be able to see it with the lights off. But uh, Xmore, let me explain what Xmore is. Xmore puts the light sensor behind the lens, which is right here about, instead of down here. And that is the, um, I mean, when I, I mean, when I say lens, I mean the, um, where it, where it gets the light from, like, for the photo, how bright your picture is. So, most digital cameras have their, their light sens sensor down here, but with Xmore, they put it back here, right, right in front of this, the touchscreen on this, so that you get 50% more brighter photos with Xmore on it. 
So this means when you're out partying, partying at night and uh, you need to get some nice low sh like low light shots, you don't really want to use a flash, then go ahead and use the use this. This is the camera to use because it does amazing low light shots. It comes in four colors, matches boys and girls, whatever you know. And it's a touch screen. I mean, who doesn't really like a touch screen camera? It's got a nice smile shutter mode, face detection. Let's go into the menu. On the menu, you can change everything like your digital zoom, your orientation. Um, let's see, your LCD brightness, brightness. You know, some regular things you can change them. Um, even folder names or copy folders. And a uh, thing you should know about before you buy this camera is that the 10.2 megapixel photos are only in 4.3 format, not 16.9 like you would expect. So uh, uh, you can downgrade the picture to 7 megapixels, if that's okay with you, and make it 16.9. So, um, you know, that's just something to take into consideration if you're buying it. But 4.3 doesn't make it, like, you see how it's, uh, it's got the letters off to the side like this, and there's no screen. That's only because it's on 10.2 megapixels and 4.3. If it was in 16.9, it's pretty much just a more wide-angle photo. Put it that way. And I can even show you that. Let's go to my menu. And um, image size. See, it says 4.3. There's all these sizes right here. 5 meter, 4.3, 3, meter, 3 megapixel, 4.3, VGA, 4.3. But then down here, there's a uh, 8 megapixel, uh, 4.3. 16.9, 7 megapixel, and then 2 megapixel, 16.9. So let's put it on 7 megapixel, 16.9. And see, it's immediately a bigger photo. Now watch, let me show you. Okay, let's take one last look at the home screen. See, all these are covered with a uh, picture now, so if you have wide angle angle, let's go to menu. Image size, and let's bring it up to 10 megapixels again, and then there you go, you have a less wide photo. So there is my review on the Sony TX1, and um, okay guys, have a nice day.